Hey, Quanta Squad, this is your girl Shaquana coming to you loud, live in the color. Hey, my people, welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all for liking, commenting, subscribing, giving me thumbs up, thumbs down. Thank y'all for sharing my videos. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support that y'all have been giving me this far. Um, Thank y'all so much for commenting on all my videos. I appreciate it. Um, I had a long break for a week. I needed the break. Armani made me take a break. So now I am well rested. And a lot has been going on since I've taken this doggone break. First of all, before I say anything, episode one through three of Laughs and Libations is out now. I need for y'all to watch. I need for y'all to comment. I need for you to subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you think, how you liked the episodes. We appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. I know that y'all have heard already that DC Young Fly knocked out a supposed to be fan. Let me tell you something about that. If you are a fan of a singer, a songwriter, a any kind of entertainer if you are a fan you do not come to a show just to fight them just to get up on stage and cause a problem for that artist for that entertainer you don't do that and i feel like this particular person made up in his mind that he was going to play DC like a joke, okay? I guess he thought all this West Side talk that DC be doing was fake, it was phony. So he wanted to try DC. And look what trying got him. Flat on the ground. See, a lot of y'all think just because these comedians can make you laugh and they be joking around, you think they won't lay hands on you. That's a misconception that y'all need to get out your brain. Why would you spend your money to go to a show just to do what this guy did? Like, I don't, I don't understand that. If you got that much hate in your spirit for DC, Carlos, Chico, Ray Grady... Ali Sadiq, Wavy, Ashima Franklin, Jess Niche, Amani Jones, Rodney Perry, Chameleon Boogie B, Kevin Tate, D.L. Hughley, all of these comedians. If you got that much hate in your spirit for a comedian, stay your behind at home. Because don't nobody want to be around nobody that's a hater like that that's just a hating a person that's just what that is that's, that's a person that's hating and jealous wish they could be doing what these comedians are doing and to me when I first heard it I thought it was a joke at first I'm gonna just confess I thought it was a joke I thought people were just playing like they always play but then I started seeing the video. I'm like, wait a minute, what? I'm like, wow. DC actually knocked this man out cold. He actually put this man to sleep. And he got what he deserved. That's just my opinion. The man got exactly what he deserved. You was big, bad, and bold enough to sit there and do what you did. So you should be big, bad, and bold enough to take the punishment. And you took the punishment, literally. I bet you won't do that no more to nobody else. I bet you won't. See, this is this, this is why I say a lot of people that's in the entertainment business need some type of security. Because DC got two children. DC got a mama. DC got a family. DC has a lot to live for. 
DC got a lot to live for, and we don't need nobody jumping on that stage and doing anything permanent to DC. This man has got a calling on his life. This man, God has spared this man so many times, and y'all have heard DC's story. You have heard this man's story. You have heard him talk about how he got stabbed and hit in the head. Come on now. Like, why would you supposed to be a fan get up on stage and do what you did? That to me is not a fan. That to me is somebody that's fake. Somebody who's phony and who's calculated and sneaky and very, very dangerous. Because that could have went so that that that, that could have went totally bad. Like that could have seriously gone really bad. Like for real, that could have been so bad. I'm glad it did not end. And DC ended up in the hospital, shot or stabbed. I'm just I'm I'm just glad that DC was able to do his show and take his butt home, safe and sound. I know Jackie had to been worried when she heard about it. I know his mama had to have been worried when she heard about it. You know what I'm saying? No family should have to hear something like that. You know, his life could have been drastically changed because of some fool, some old jealous somebody that wished that their life was like DC's. And that's to, that to me... It's so sad and it's so pitiful that you would resort to trying to hurt somebody. I'm glad he dropped you. I'm glad he put you to sleep. Now, don't do it no more. Because next time it may not be too good for you. I'm just saying. But y'all comment and tell me what y'all think if you, if you know the story. If not, look it up. Look it up and come back and talk about it. Because this is crazy. But in the meantime and in between time, make sure you give me those big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell twice to be notified. If you're an old subscriber, make sure you're not on. Share my video. Like I always say, God only gives you one life. Please leave it, y'all. Bye.